I think that this is a quite, I mean, neglected focus at the moment uh, because most of the uh, efforts have been uh, focused on, uh, I mean, curing the tumors. And uh, of course, we had uh, uh, very good results in the past because uh, uh, just to let you know, uh, the most frequent histotype of breast cancer, that is the breast cancer with the expression of uh, estrogen receptor, uh, has a chance of cure uh, um, reaching the 80%. But still, we have 20% of the patients uh, uh, which eventually uh, will relapse. And uh, um, we know that we can do uh, um, uh, all our efforts in order to try to cure these patients or, or at least uh, trying to uh, chronicize their disease uh, just in order to improve the survival. And this is a very fascinating uh, issue in my opinion because uh, uh, this is, I mean, uh, um, we are in the, in a, in a, at, at the Congress uh, dealing with the cancer patients empowerment and the patients uh, in this field can really uh, play uh, a pivotal role. Because, of course, uh, this is just a matter of uh, uh, putting together technology and uh, I would say uh, the uh, psychology of the patients and also ethical issue because uh, we have to uh, try to apply the most recent findings of technology and research just in order to uh, find out uh, what, uh, uh, finding, uh, uh, finding how the tumor of these patients has changed over uh, its uh, uh, natural history. Because we know that the, uh, the survival of these patients uh, uh, may, be, um, um, may be reaching more than 10, 15 years. So we uh, usually have data um, based on the primary tumor. And then there is the relapse. But I mean, uh, meanwhile, something, we know now that something happened and we know now that this tumor may be modified according to uh, uh, evolutionary um, laws uh, as it happens for in, in ecology, for example. And the tumor is modified according to the treatments and may develop resistance to, to a specific treatment. So, for example, for ER-positive uh, patients, uh, uh, we used to cure this patient by using aromatase inhibitors or tamoxifen, and we know now that this tumor may develop a specific resistance uh, uh, to these uh, treatments. So, it is very important to find out this, which kind of resistance this tumor may develop just in order to know how to treat them and how to cure or chronicize the disease. And uh, we know from the literature that there is a specific mutation in one gene, that is the uh, estrogen receptor gene, um, uh, um, that, I mean, that occurs in approximately 20% of these patients. And our group, we had a very, I mean, interesting study uh, last year, uh, the study was published in uh, January 2017 uh, in Natural Genetics, and we found uh, an alternative way uh, by which this tumor may escape uh, the treatment. Um, and and, and uh, they can do that by amplifying a different gene, the gene, the aromatase gene. And so by amplifying the copies of the genes, they may resist uh, to the specific treatment uh, uh, of aromatase inhibitors. So these are quite, I mean, uh, new data. And we are going now to develop, the, the, of course, the diagnostic test and also to prove uh, uh, in a, a larger series uh, the prevalence of this disease and how to cope uh, with this specific resistance. They are expressing ER positivity and we use to evaluate ER by immunohistochemistry by a clone that is FDA approved, so we are quite sure that they are expressing ER, but then they, they still are expressing ER, but they may have uh, or uh, a mutation, an activating mutation on the ER gene or an amplification of the aromatase. And these are the only two mechanisms by which these tumors 
uh, may uh, acquire resistance to the treatment. This is that is very important in my opinion because this tumor represents 75 percent of all the uh, breast cancer, and uh, these tumors are usually treated for five or ten years, so they have time to develop the resistance and so we should uh, uh, I mean find a way of evaluating quite earlier as earlier as possible when this kind of resistance may uh, may happen and this is very important because we have to uh, get a trust with our patients because we should uh, find a way uh, uh, of uh, I mean um, um, applying uh, I mean I would define it as a molecular follow-up so, because you, of course, when the disease relapses, this may, may be, I mean, too late, because of course then there is a clinically evident disease and so it is very difficult to cure the patient. But what happens uh, if we could, I mean, demonstrate the acquisition of a specific resistance by using, for example, a blood sample? We can do that now. We can do that for the ESR mutation, uh, as has been reported and already applied in clinical trials. But we, uh, as I mean, our group, uh, which include, let me, I mean, quote them, Luca Magnani in London and uh, Saverio Minucci in uh, uh, working at IFOM, um, we are willing to, uh, I mean, transfer our test uh, that we applied on tissue, so on the tissue taken by the relapses in a retrospective series, we are willing to transfer this method on plasma. And so we could evaluate the alteration in the plasma, the DNA of our patients. So we have to, to talk with our patients, to, to involve them, and they, are, they, uh, uh, they should be willing to, I would not say just to participate, but to, I mean, to drive our, our studies because of course they, uh, they should be evaluated each, let me see, I mean uh, uh, six or uh, six months or yearly just in order to, to try to detect the alteration quite as early as possible. No, absolutely not, because we know that we are able to cure approximately 80% of these patients, so, uh, but still there are 20% that it, 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 it's of course a quite huge population of, of persons, you know, people that could, I mean, develop a resistance at the end of the stories, at the end of the, of the, of the, of the story. And I think that it would be very important to uh, let the patient know that, of course, they could, I mean, have a, a very late relapse. I mean, five years, ten years, and in, and in fact all the scientific community is focusing on this problem now uh, and we are developing new drugs uh, and new treatment and new diagnostic tests just in order to focus on which population should be treated with, uh, uh, with specific treatments and of course we can, the armamentarium of our drugs uh, is, uh, is, is uh, um, is, uh, is widening now and we could, I mean, uh, try to, I mean, to shift the specific treatment. Now we, are, we have inhibitors of uh, the CDK4 uh, uh, and 6 in, in, in the clinic and so we could try to, I mean, to, to, to uh, evaluate which kind of treatment may, uh, uh, may uh, uh, improve the survival of patients uh, but uh, uh, being derived uh, by specific uh, uh, molecular alteration. This is our goal now.